Hello and welcome to Afghan's Cricket World. Well, we yesterday Pakistan opened their World Cup campaign with a resounding and thumping win against the Netherlands, and it was a truly a magnificent performance from the Pakistani boys. In the uh, but it was all not so easy for Pakistan. Netherlands won the toss and put Pakistan into bat, and as usual, Fakhar Zaman, who has been in uh, in a bit of in not so great form, got out early, and uh, he although got things going with a couple of boundaries, but uh, they were um, uh, he was dismissed early, and and so Imam and Babur also went early, and Pakistan was a bit of a bother at 44 for three. But then it was uh, uh, Muhammad Rizwan, the, the dependable middle order batsman for Pakistan, and also Saud Shakil, who upped the tempo, who um, got together and uh, played very sensible cricket. And although it was uh, the played also the factor in this performance was they didn't let the run rate come down, which was um, very impressive. Especially uh, Saud Shakil, who uh, was known was initially known to be a Test batsman, uh, he had performed admirably well in the Test arena, and was yet to be tested in one day in the one day conditions. But he was e- absolutely brilliant. And some of his shot selection, some of his game awareness you know, was also very impressive, and uh, to say the least. And uh, Pakistan uh, was a very good decision to play him. And uh, Pakistan have uh, uh, got a very dependable middle order now in the presence of in the presence of Saud Shakil, who played a very impressive cricket yesterday. Uh, yesterday and was very impressive with the bat, and uh, it will bode well for Pakistan in the coming games if uh, because uh, this guy can really up the tempo in the innings. Mohammad Rizwan and Saud Shakil then. Played some uh, very good cricket, both made 68 and got Pakistan in a good position at one stage. But then Netherlands, uh, I uh, if we'll talk about their bowling in a bit of uh, in a while. But uh, Netherlands uh, uh, were kept on chipping and uh, they got the breakthroughs of uh, got South Shakil out and then got Mohammad Rizwan out. And uh, but it, the middle or the lower order this time combined with Shadab Khan and Muhammad Nawaz coming together and uh, getting some very useful runs for Pakistan, getting 67 odd runs of partnership with Shadab uh, with Nawaz and Shadab getting them Pakistan up, above 250, and then there's some lower order hitting by Haris Rauf and Shaheen Shah Afridi getting Pakistan to 285 at the end, which was. Uh, could be, could be called a pass score these days, but I uh, and with Netherlands' history of uh, chasing down big scores, it looked as if it would be a uh, interesting chase. Uh, talk about Netherlands bowling. It was a very uh, disciplined kind of a bowling performance from Netherlands, and the somehow some cracks showed uh, because of the inexperience against you know, uh, test playing nations. But uh, to talk about their bowling, it was also an impressive performance from uh, Bastadide, the all-rounder who scored, uh, who took four for fifty, four fifty-six, and he was very impressive with the ball. Kept on chipping in with very useful wickets. Uh, got got, uh, got rid of uh, Shada, uh, Muhammad Rizwan, who was building, got him got out, got him out of a bit of pitch of a delivery. And uh, this guy has got, he is a very impressive all round cricketer and has bowled great lines, has a great uh, bats uh, in the middle order and has does a very impressive job. So he will be the one to watch out for in this World Cup against the other teams. Well, he got four wickets and kept Pakistan under the check, and Pakistan were carried to 85. And, pa- and when the Netherlands batted, uh, they batted very sensibly at the top. Uh, Shaheen Shah Afridi, to me, is uh, isn't quite got his groove yet in this World Cup, but he will get. Uh, he was looked a little uh, out of out of sorts, but uh, he. Um, uh, it was a test for Hassan Ali and Shahin Shah Afridi to get Pakistan a good start, but uh, the Netherlands started off with, in a spirited fashion, with Vikramjeet Singh uh, getting them to a very uh, quick start. Uh, they lost the wicket of Max Odao, but Vikramjeet Singh and Bas Lide both got together with, uh, when uh, they were two down at some 53, 
and uh, they got them into a good position and by the 20th over they had reached 120 odd something when uh, 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 they looked and if they will have a pretty good shout at this World Cup at uh, this uh, target and but then uh, Vikramjit Singh uh, hold out to Shadab Khan and uh, Vakha Zaman took a very decent catch and then uh, the Netherlands just folded because you can call it an inexperience or some good uh, disciplined bowling from Pakistan especially Harris Rowe who come, came back and picked up the crucial uh, uh, wickets in the middle order and uh, at the end uh, uh, Das Ride was the only hope for Netherlands but he went out went uh, he was played superb innings and he looked in good control and he could uh, and looked as if he would get uh, Netherlands uh, into a good position but um, it was not to be and Mohammad Nawaz got him out with a peach of a delivery and then the, the innings folded quite uh, Easily with two uh, getting out for the Netherlands being dismissed for uh, 205 runs, and so uh, it was a big win for Pakistan. It boosts the run rate it, with 80, uh, winning by 82 runs. It uh, bodes well for the run rate coming forward in this competition because it's a big, uh, long game, and many sides will. Uh, be locked on points and will decide on rights. It was important for Pakistan to finish strongly and uh, they did so by adding an impressive run rate at the end. Uh, some positives that come out of uh, Pakistan in this match was the batting of Saud Shakil, who I think uh, might have cemented his position the next couple of games for Pakistan and uh, they'll be concerned